it's YouTube. <laughs> hey Alex, it's YouTube. Okay, it's been a while. Hey YouTube, it's Alex. Welcome back to my kitchen. So as you can tell, this is not the kitchen that you guys are used to. It's not the kitchen I'm used to anymore either. <laughs> if you've been wondering where I've been for the past couple of weeks, I decided to move back home indefinitely for the rest of quarantine, mainly because there's dogs here. <laughs> I also decided to take a couple weeks off and adjust to my new life back at home. I feel like I'm 15 again. <laughs> I sure act like a 15 year old. So I figured for my first video back here at home, I would make something that I used to eat as a 15 year old at the mall. <laughs> soft pretzels. Shout out to Wetzel's Pretzels, my favorite soft pretzel. Because it's quarantine and everyone is also obsessed with sourdough bread baking, AKA my dad, I'm gonna make sourdough soft pretzels. And I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. I love soft pretzels because they're soft and salty and buttery. They've got it all. And they're not that hard to make, so let's get into it. So to start off, I have three cups of bread flour in a large bowl. Bread flour has a higher protein content, so this will give you a chewier pretzel. To the flour, I'm adding a tablespoon of sugar, one and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Did I say a tablespoon of sugar or a teaspoon? I don't know. It's a tablespoon of sugar. And two teaspoons of instant yeast. Hopefully yeast is a little more easy to come by these days, but who knows? Luckily my parents just had it. That's a good thing about living with your parents. They usually have a lot of random stuff in the kitchen. Although, it's probably from like when I was 12. <laughs> so now I'm gonna give the dry ingredients a mix. Perfect. And to this, I'm adding a cup of whole milk and now one cup of our sourdough starter. But really, this is not the video to watch if you're trying to learn a little something about sourdough. I know nothing. I know nothing, John Sourdough. <laughs> My dad is the sourdough bread baker of this house. It's his quarantine activity. I'm very grateful for it because I get to eat all the sourdough bread, but I haven't made any yet. Anyways, I'm gonna be using one cup of his unfed sourdough starter. This is straight from the fridge. If that helps anybody, I don't know. Listen, it's just over my head, over my bread. <laughs> all these sourdough puns, I'm loving it. Maybe I should pick this up. It actually smells really good. It smells like beer. <laughs> Pretzels of beer, that's a match made in heaven. So now I'm gonna switch to a wooden spoon and stir up this dough. Okay, so now I have like a cohesive dough ball. I'm just gonna flip this out onto our table. Now I'm gonna knead the dough until it's a nice smooth ball. The dough is actually gonna be a little bit sticky, not too dry. So be sure not to add too much flour at this point. Now you can of course make your dough in a stand mixer if you have one. My parents actually do have one, but I like to make my dough by hand because it's fun, it's kind of a stress reliever, and it's out of solidarity for all of you who don't have a hand mixer. Okay, this dough is very sticky, as you can see. I'm gonna need to add a little bit of flour to the surface. Just gonna sprinkle it on. Again, this dough isn't supposed to be too dry, so I'm not gonna go too overboard with the flour here. Oh, I love kneading dough, it's so fun. But yeah, moving back home really hasn't been so bad. There's a pool here, so I get to swim, I get to play with my dogs, and I get to eat lots of bread. <laughs> All right, our dough ball looks great. It's nice and smooth, not too dry. I am gonna pop this in a greased bowl, cover it with a towel, and now we're gonna place it in a warm place for about an hour. It's been about an hour. Our dough has risen like Jesus on Sunday morning. On Alex. What? <laughs> My mom didn't like that joke. <laughs> okay, we'll do it again. All right, we're back. It's been about an hour. Our dough is looking beautiful. So now it's time to pretzelfy it, whatever that means. So I'm gonna cut up this dough into equal pieces. But y'all know I like to eyeball, so that's what I'm gonna do. And now I'm gonna roll one out into about an 18 inch long rope. I don't really know what 18 inches looks like though. <laughs> I think 12 inches is a piece of paper. Mom, is 12 inches a piece of paper? What? Is 12 inches a piece of paper? Oh, apparently paper is eight and a half by 11. 
Wow, it's nice living at home. It's like I have a instant Google via my mom. <laughs> okay, so I have a rope like so. Now to get a pretzel shape, I'm going to, I think I need to roll it out a little bit more actually. To get a pretzel shape, oh, you okay? All right, to get a pretzel shape, I'm just gonna wrap it, twist it, and then put it down. Beautiful. Wow, that was like the first time I actually did that and it worked, I think. It looks like a pretzel. All right, I have a greased baking pan right here that I'm just gonna transfer my pretzels right onto. I actually learned a pretty cool pretzel fact recently. Basically, they were invented by Christian monks and the way they're shaped is to resemble arms crossed in prayer and they were given as little treats to the kids who learn their prayers. I put that little fact on my TikTok if you wanna go follow me there. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video if you want. <laughs> so I know most classic pretzels are actually boiled in a baking soda water situation before baking. This recipe doesn't call for that, but it will still be just as delicious and saves you the extra step, so there's that. So before I pop these in the oven, I'm just gonna brush them with a little bit of sugar water. I love that pretzels are mostly savory and salty, but they have like a little bit of sweetness to them. So this sugar will help bring that out. And I'm gonna top the pretzels with a little bit of coarse salt. I'm using sea salt, but you can use pretzel salt, kosher salt, flaky salt, whatever kind of coarse salt you have. Oops, I missed that one. Whoops. Ugh, I love a good salted pretzel. I always ask for like the extra butter, extra salt. Soft pretzels are so much better than hard pretzels. Can we all agree? <laughs> Comment down below. All right, a last minute decision. I'm gonna top a couple of them with some cheese. Just cause my favorite Wetzel pretzel is the cheesy one. Anybody? <laughs> I hope this works, I don't really know. But listen, a little cheese ain't gonna hurt anything. <laughs> oh, sourdough cheese pretzel, that sounds so good. All right, now I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. All right, it's been 25 minutes. I'm gonna go grab the pretzels. Just over here. <laughs> okay. So they're looking pretty good. I mean, they don't look like a Watson's pretzels, let me tell you, but I'm sure they'll be delicious. So now I'm just gonna brush the pretzels with a little bit of melted butter. Cause you know what, butter makes everything better. <laughs> if only butter could like fix 2020. <laughs> butter for president. I realized I was actually supposed to put parchment down, but I kind of forgot. Why do I always forget the parchment? <laughs> okay, it's fine, I can just kind of scrape them up. All right, well I guess there's one thing left to do. Let's try them. All right. I went for a cheese one. Hmm. Well, you know, they've got, like I said, it's not a wetzel pretzel, but they're pretty good. All right, well that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a nice big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below on what you'd like me to make next. See you guys later. Time to crack a beer. <laughs> Beer and pretzel, nothing better.